guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will look at tuple with same product problem which is from lead code number 1726 after solving this problem you can consider solving the four sum two problem which is from lead code number 454 and the pair of songs with total durations divisible by 60 problem which is from uh, lead code number uh, 1010 both these problems are kind of uh, similar to this problem uh, but not exactly the same so i have already made a video on this second problem so all the relevant links will be present in the description below so you can just check it out in this problem you are given an array nums of distinct positive integers return the number of tuples a b c d such that a multiplied by b equals c multiplied by d where a b c and d are element of the nums array and all the elements are unequal that means they are all unique so if you look at the first example in this case if you consider a comma b to be let's say 2 comma 3 then in this case you can just multiply this a and b and check out the product which will come out to be 6 then in how many ways can you form this kind of quadruplet that means this tuple a b c d all these combinations are already mentioned if you look at the first combination 2 comma 6 comma 3 comma 4 then it is saying that if you multiply 2 with 6 then you get the same value as you multiply 4 with 3 and you can check out the rest of the tuple it will still come out to be the same which is 12 right so in this particular case for four items we got an answer 8 because there were eight valid arrangement for the given array with four items now if you look at the constraint uh, then in this case the number of items are less than equals to 10 to the power of 3 so that means if you write an n square algorithm it will be around 10 to the power of 6 so it will definitely pass within one second because 10 to the power 8 is considered to be one second for the runtime now each of the item is within 10 to the power 4 size and all the elements of the array are unique now let's look at an observation uh, which will help us solve our problem in this case if you consider the tuple a b c d to be valid in such a way that a multiplied by b equals c multiplied by d this is our assumption if this is what is present that means the tuple is valid then i can rearrange this tuple in eight different possible ways eight different valid possible ways what we can do is we can keep the a b here and then we can rearrange this c and d with d and c right so this will give me two arrangement or what we can do is we can again shuffle this a and b and then we will get b and a and we will get the same rhs again we are reusing the rhs right so this will give me four arrangement so four arrangements can be produced by keeping a b on the left side on the lhs now what we do is we will be moving this a b to the right hand side and again repeat the same exact process so you see that this a b has now come on the right side and this cd has come on the left side so this will be giving us a different tuple this will be giving me c comma d comma a comma b which is considered different as compared to this tuple which is giving me a comma b comma c comma d we are always writing the lhs on the left side and the rhs on the right side okay so that is why a multiplied by b equals c into d is different as compared to c into d uh, equals a into b so if you compare the first four and the last four you will see that the lhs has moved to the rhs and the rhs has moved to the lhs okay so if you have a valid tuple then you will get a total of eight valid arrangements you can take an integer example 2963 and you can try it out i have already uh, given all these set of examples for you so you can do all these arrangements so the first uh, the first case will give you 2 comma 9 comma 6 comma 3 and the second case will give you 2 comma 9 comma 3 comma 6 this case will give you 6 comma 3 comma 2 comma 9 and so on you can just keep on trying these values okay and since all the elements in the array are unique as it is mentioned in the problem statement in the constraint therefore you don't need to check if these elements are equal or not equal definitely they are not going to be equal okay so this is the first observation now if you assume that your array has let's say six items and if i say that for value 18 what is this value 18 i'm assuming that a into b value is equals to 18 so how many such pair exist where the multiplication value of a pair equals to 18 if you check out you have three pairs 2 comma 9 6 comma 3 and 1 comma 18 2 9 6 3 and 1 18 there are three such pairs so what will be the number of arrangement taking two pairs out of all these valid pairs 
So there are three valid pairs, but according to our problem statement, we have to form a quadruplet. We have to form a tuple, right? A tuple should be of four items exactly. So out of these uh, three pairs, we need to pick two options. So if you have n number of pairs and you need to pick two items out of it, it is nothing but the number of ways to pick two items out of the n items. That means nc2, the combination formula, right? So you can just uh, write n factorial by n minus 2 factorial into 2 factorial, which you can simplify to n into n minus 1 by 2. So this is the total number of ways to pick two pairs out of all the available n options. And now once you pick it up, then for any valid combination pick, like let's say you picked this 2 comma 9 comma 6 comma 3, for every possible pick, there will be eight ways to actually form the valid tuple as we saw that if you have a valid tuple A, B, C, D, then you can have eight valid tuples out of it by rearranging the given tuple, right? So if you find a valid pair, like let's say 2, 9, 6, 3, by combining this 0 and 1, okay, then you will have eight ways by rearranging this again if you combine this 2 9 with 118 then there will be another 8 ways and if you combine this 6 3 with 118 then there will be another 8 ways right so the total number of ways will be the addition of all these values or you can say that the number of uh, combination of pairs multiplied by the valid pairs per combination that you can form so it will be 8 multiplied by 3 which is 24 this is how you find out what will be the number of valid tuples okay but how to track like how to know what will be the number of valid pairs now let's see how to track the frequency of each of the product so let's say that with, this is our given array and uh, i am tr trying to track each of the product a comma b that means a multiplied by b so in that particular case i can just use two loops so the i loop will be starting from zero and it will be going till n minus one and the j loop will be starting from i plus 1 and it will go to uh, the last index and then each of the product that means the ith item array at i can be considered to be a and the array at j can be considered to be b and we will just multiply them to get all possible product right so in this particular case i will be tracking the frequency of each of the product uh, by using a hash map so we will be taking a frequency map where the product of the two items that means a multiplied by b will be taken as the key and the frequency will be taken as the value that means how many times have we seen this product the same product okay and simply for the first item if you see 2 multiplied by 9 equals to 18 so we will be inserting a key 18 and its frequency will be set to 1 and then the j will be updated and again we will see 2 multiplied by 6 will be 12 and its frequency will be entered to be 1 so I have already pre-calculated all these values so that we don't have to calculate it again. We will see that 18 has a frequency 2 and all the rest of the entries have frequency 1, right? Now if I have to calculate like how many 4 items tuple, that means A, B, C, D, how many quadruplets are present where you can find A multiplied by B equals C multiplied by D. If such thing has to happen where A, B and C, D are all different numbers, then this means that the product A, B must have been seen at least two times, at least two times. You cannot see A, B one time and say that I will be able to form this tuple because that will be impossible. So if the frequency of any of these entries, any of these entries are actually greater than one, then that can actually form a valid uh, tuple. Okay. So if the frequency is greater than one, like for 18, the frequency is two, that means there are two different pairs, which can give product to be same, which is equals to 18, two different pairs. So there can be a comma B and C comma D. They are two different pairs who are, who can be multiplied together in such a way that they both will produce the multiplication value to be 18. That is the meaning. So if there are two such pairs, that is why the frequency is two. And we know from the previous calculation that if you have n number of pairs then you can find out in how many ways can you select a pair out of these n number of pairs so if there are only two pairs available with the product 18 then how many such pairings can you make 2c2 which will be equals to 1 so there is only one way to select this and out of whatever number of combinations you can form from the pairs each of this combination can be arranged in eight possible arrangement therefore we will be multiplying it by eight and therefore the total count of the valid tuples will be equals to 8 
for the product 18 and so 8 will be added to our count value and then we will be checking it for all the entries we will be checking it for all the entries okay now if i check it for 12 its frequency is 1 that means there is only one pair a comma b which forms uh, a product of 12 so there is no c comma d so that is why i will just ignore it so since the frequency of all the rest of the item is 1 therefore they will not contribute and the final answer in this case will be 8 if let's say that uh, the product 6 had a frequency of 3 then this means that there are three pairs a comma b c comma d and maybe e comma f where all these multiplications will actually be giving the value equals to 6 value equals to 6 value equals to 6 so since there are three such pairs therefore we can make 3 c2 number of pair selections which will give me n into n minus 1 by 2 which will be equals to three pair selection which will be this first pair second pair first pair third pair and the second pair third pair right and for each of these three pair selection i have eight possible ways to actually arrange them in a valid tuple so there will be 24 total arrangement right if that was the case like as we had seen in the previous example so this is how we are going to solve the problem and if you solve it in this way then you know that all the pairs will be order of n square we are using two loops to form all possible product so this will be order of n square and we are storing all these values into the hash map which can go to order of n square size because all the multiplication values can be unique and that is why the time complexity and the space complexity are both order of n square let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this code we are given the nums array and we are finding the number of items and taking an unordered map named as frequency so the key is the product and the value is the frequency of the pair a comma b which actually gives the product equals to the given key then i will be finding all possible uh, product of pairs right and i will be just incrementing the relevant frequency and then i will be iterating through each of the map entry and store the key value pair in a product and the frequency so i will be finding the nc2 on the frequency so if the frequency is one the value will come out to be zero but if the frequency is two the value will be one and it will keep on increasing for further values so if the frequency is greater than equals to 2 then only something will be added to count and since for one pair we have eight possible ways of arranging it in a valid tuple so that is why we will multiply by 8 so at the end we will be returning the total count and this is the nc2 function where you get an n value and you will return nc2 which is n into n minus 1 by 2 so this is the entire code and i hope it is clear if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you